Be careful with this one. Here we go. 2x squared plus 3x. Charlie, what do you think? Uh, x times x plus... I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what Charlie's trying to say there, but <laughs> you cannot combine these because here you have x squared and you have x's. It's like saying if you have two apples and somebody gives you uh, three pears, what do you get? Do you have five apple, per apple pears? What? what? You can't combine these. So this problem <laughs> you cannot combine because they are not like terms. So be careful with those. Trick question. Okay, let's go to our, our another one here. 7x to the 4th y cubed minus 4x to the 4th y cubed. Now, Charlie, are these like terms? Yes. Yes, they are. Very nice, Charlie. Now, remember, when you're looking for like terms, basically, okay, you take the coefficients and kind of in your mind set them aside and make sure everything else matches up. Notice we have x to the 4th y cubed. And the next one is also x to the fourth y cubed. So basic, basically what you have here is 7 x to the fourth y cubed. Take a break. Okay. Now add three more. Or I'm sorry. Subtract. Uh -huh. Subtract 4 x to the fourth y cubed. So it's basically like doing a basic arithmetic problem. 7 subtract 4 is 3. And 7x to the 4th y cubes, take away 4x to the 4th y cubes, leaves you with how many left, Charlie? Three of them. Three of them. So that's 3x to the 4th y cubed. Very nice, Charlie. We're doing fine. Okay, let's go on to a, another problem here. Okay, now let's talk about the cases where you have to multiply exponents. Basically, when you're raising to a higher power is when you multiply. But let's talk about why that is. Okay. So here we go, Charlie. We have x squared, y cubed as our base, all being raised to the third power. Now remember, we're first going to take care of that exponent outside. In, or rather, we have to understand what that exponent outside the parentheses means. It means takes whatever, take whatever's in your parentheses and take three of them and multiply them together. So let's write that out. There it is. See, x squared y cubed is the base, and you're multiplying three of them together. There it is. Now remember, everything here is being multiplied. So let's, let's list everything separately in this fashion here. It's just x, cubed, x squared times y cubed times x squared times y cubed times x squared times y cubed. Now, Charlie, how many x's are up there total? Six? That's right, there is six of them because x squared times x squared times x squared, there's six x's there being multiplied. Remember, x squared means x times x. Now, Charlie, we have y cubed times y cubed times y cubed in there. How many y's are there all together, Charlie? Nine. There's nine of them and they're all being multiplied together. And so that will give us our y to the ninth. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, well, let's make a note here. Notice here that when we took x squared y cubed as the base and raised to the third power, we end up with x to the sixth times y to the ninth. And of course, we can use a little uh, the rule here and say 2 times 3 is what, Charlie? 6. That's right, 6. And what's 3 times 3? 9. 9. Okay, so let's run through this. Let's take x squared raised to the third power, you said 2 times 3 is 6, so that gives us our x to the sixth, right there, okay? And now, let's go to our next one here. y to the third raised to the third, what's 3 times 3, Charlie? 9. 9, and therefore, there is our answer there, x to the sixth, y to the ninth, okay? Let's try another one here. We have 2x cubed y to the fifth, okay? Now, remember, that's just a 2 by itself. There is no exponent on the 2, but you can, write as a, you can write it as a 1. Meaning, I'm sorry, you can write the exponent as a 1. 2 to the first power is the same as 2. You have to realize that because when we deal with a 2 and we raise into a second power, we have to multiply the exponent on the 2, and it's assumed to be a 1. So, Charlie, what's 1 times 2? Two? 2. 
it's 2. So there we have it, 2 squared, because 1 times 2 was 2. Now let's go to the next one. We have x cubed raised to the second power. We multiply the exponent charge. So what do we get? What's 3 times 2? 6. 6, so that gives us x to the 6th. And now bring us home, Charlie, with that y. y to the 5th raised to the 2. What's 5 times 2? 10. 10, so that's y to the 10th. Now, we can write our answer as 2 squared times x to the 6th times y to the 10th, but you should know what 2 squared means. 2 squared means 2 times 2, and Charlie, what's 2 times 2? 4. 4, he better get that right. Anyway, there we go there. That's a 4 for our final answer. 4x to the 6th, y to the 10th. Okay, we got one last, pro oh, got one last problem for this lecture here. Let's step it up a bit and start with this one. We have 2, x to the minus 3, y to the 5th, z to the minus 1. And remember, we want to write our answers with positive exponents only. So we'll deal with those negative exponents when we get to our final answer here. Okay, Charlie, so now let's raise into a negative 2 power. We multiply the exponents. Remember that 2, we assume the exponent is a 1. And so we go ahead and say what, Charlie? What's 2 raised to the negative 2? 2 to the negative 2. Now, Charlie, what's x to the negative 3 raised to the negative 2? Be careful. A negative 3 times a negative 2 is a what, Charlie? Positive 6. Positive 6. There we go. So that gives us x to the positive 6. Now, let's take a break. Okay, we're ready to go. y to the 5th raised to the negative 2. Charlie, that's y to the what power? Negative 10. Negative 10. Okay, Charlie, bring us home with that z. z to the negative 1 raised to the negative 2 is z to the what power, Charlie? Positive 2. Positive 2. There we go. Now, we're back to our uh, negative exponents, dealing with negative exponents, so we're going to move things around. We're going to have a rational expression as our answer. So, let's start with a 2 to the negative 2, Charlie. What are we going to do with that one? To the bottom. Move it to the bottom, it becomes 2 squared. Okay. How about the x to the 6? Do we need to move that? No. Nope, that stays there on the top. Okay, Charlie y to the negative 10. We're going to take that one to the? To the bottom. Bottom. There we go. y to the 10th. And now the z squared, Charlie, do we need to move that? No. Nope. No. You leave it right there. Your answer is z squared. And now to be proper, we're not going to leave that 2 squared there. We're going to write 2 squared as a what, Charlie? 4. 4. There we go. That's it. And that is enough to deal with for now. That takes care of integer exponents that we're going to come back and we're going to talk about some other things like the greatest common factor, multiplying polynomials, that's coming up, and then the big time factoring. Ooh, that's going to be so much fun. Anyway, we'll see you all next time.